Hi there, me, it's Michael, your friendly neighborhood humble stroke assaulter, and this is yet again Wordy Wednesdays, where we discuss aphasia, communication difficulties, and I'm going to continue on with the therapy, doesn't need to look like therapy, sort of, um, portion of the show. So let's talk about other therapeutic, non-therapy activities you can do in your home. Right? Again, let's, let's look at therapy doesn't need to look like therapy to have a beneficial side effect, right? When you go to your OT or your speech and language or your physiotherapist, they have um, a playbook that they're going to work out of that's based off of various assessments, uh, various needs assessments that you have specifically, uh, medical assessments or insurance assessments. Right? They're, at some point, they're looking at a funding model, so they're going to try to graduate you. Right? Um, and for sometimes you might only see that person once a week or once every other week. So they're going to give you activities that are going to seem pretty dry, right? So let's just talk about think inside the book. I know that sounds kind of weird. I have a communication deficit, so I'm going to think inside the book. Well, this time I mean the coloring book, right? So again, not sponsored by anyone, not promoting anyone. This is just happens to be a National Geographic kids book, Animals of the World. Now, the advantage of this book, for some people, is it has no words, it's just pictures. The disadvantage for some people is it has no words, it's just pictures. So, you will need the coloring implements, right? Um, be that crayons, uh, be that pencil crayon, pen, um, uh, pencil crayons. Um, the advantage with crayons might be you can get them a little bit thicker. Um, so you, you might need some of those like primary school crayons. So you might be limited in color selection. So some of the advantages to using a coloring book, right, um, is one, and I'm just grabbing a handful, no specific order. You have to pick a color and you can name the color because sometimes they write the colors on it, right? So you've got a jade green. Unfortunately, this, the writing is really small. So if you have vision problems, you're screwed. Um, this is yellow green. And this is aqua green. So right here, I'm just going to use these three as an example. Right here, you have three shades of green. Right? So you would have to be able to pick it up and identify, it not only says green, but which version of green. Again, the jade green, the aqua green, or the yellow green. So you then have to worry about holding the pencil. Now, I realize for some people after the stroke, you're gonna be doing the stabby stab technique, um, but eventually you're gonna work up to a proper finger grip. Uh, you then have fine motor control because you will have to color, unfortunately, inside the lines, right? So. Actually, I might title this episode, Think Inside the Lines. Um, you then have to be able to relate. And I'm just going to pick a picture. So on this side of the page, it's lions. And on that page, it's monkeys. So... You could attempt the Salvador Dali and just, what, buddy? What? It's a book. Yeah, I know. See, you can't read. It's not because of a communication deficit. It's a book. Yeah, he's right here. He's on my knee. So, on one side of the page was lions. The other side of the page is monkeys. So, you're going to have to pick the appropriate color. So, now you have some skills where... You know, in the background, in one of the pictures on a lion, there's a tree. So, obviously, the trunk should be brownish. The leaves should be greenish. You know, lions get liony colors, you know. So, monkeys get monkey-like colors. Right? again, you've got the same tree-type pattern coming over. So, you've got the right colors. What, buddy? Did you want to say something? So, when you think about rehab activities, you can then use the coloring book. For those of us that have expressive aphasia, 
you can do some confrontational naming. I'm picking up the green, you know, I'm coloring the tree. For those of you with receptive aphasia, right, you can have someone help you work through that. Well, this is a tree, you know, uh, it could help you start word association. Uh, then again, another thing you can do is once you've colored in or before you color in the, uh, the picture, write a little story about it, you know. Um, that's one of the things they had me do in speech and language therapy a couple of times where they, they'd give you a picture, um, just a picture, and they, they'd have you write a little story about it. Um, so again, there's many beneficial side effects to doing things that you wouldn't think is therapy, to have a therapeutic beneficial outcome or benefit. So you grab your coloring book. Now it doesn't have to be this one. If you need something that has words in it, well, you go to your Indigo, your Chapters, bookstore, uh, dollar store, whatever, you may be able to find um, uh, a coloring book that has words in it. Um, if you need a coloring book that is more adult, um, like a coloring book of swear words, that, that's perfectly okay too. There's, there's no requirement to use anything that I'm specifically suggesting. So let's get into the, just the basics of it. So it takes roughly, these are roughly terms, about 5,000 repetitions to get something right. Okay. Um, if you've adopted a bad habit, it takes you between 15 and 20,000 successful correct repetitions to rebuild the correct habits from a bad habit. So let's just consider the filing cabinet analogy, right? After your brain injury, your stroke, your concussion, whatever the case may be, the, the filing cabinet is, is your language skills that got pushed over. Um, and the files containing your language skills, be it syntax, be it grammar, be it spelling, be it receptive, be it expressive, be it both, be it whatever combination got spilled out. So if you're 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, right? You've had that many years of effective communication. You've had that many years to be able to develop good spelling, uh, good grammar, good syntax, good punctuation. Um, you've, you've had the opportunity to develop your, um, the word I want to use is argot, but that's kind of brainy. Um, you've had a good selection of vocabulary. So, you know, just think colors, right? Go back to the greens. I think that's a fourth green too. So this is a, so this is just green, green, you know, then you've got your jade green, then you've got your yellow green, then you've got your aqua green. So there's four greens. Well, as a fully functional, non brain injured adult, you could be able to roughly give me uh, your opinion as to the greens. Once you have the brain injury, it's green. Right? That's the simplest I can make it. So you have to relearn to be able to differentiate between this green to that green, these two greens to that green, and that green to the one that is technically a green but doesn't look so green. So you've had, you know, 15... 30, 30,000, 100,000 experiences where you're able to redevelop and, 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 and firmly establish your language skills. Well, after your stroke, your concussion, your brain injury, that's gone, right? Um, and to some degree, exactly how, how big is the deficit, how big is the disability, that's going to be a unique thing to the individual. So you're going to have to, in some cases, do therapy when you're not in therapy. And I mean specifically in this case, speech and language. Um, so as you're going down the road in, in a car, you might do confrontational aiming at the signs. Um, you could play that I spy game while in the car. Um, you might uh, end up doing a lot of different things that have a therapeutic benefit, but it's not actually therapy. So that's why I'm going to encourage those with some form of communication deficit um, you've got aphasia, you've got anomia, um, you, because of a stroke, a brain injury, or, or some other neurological dysfunction, um, you have a deficit with communication. Well, something so simple, you don't like that? 
What? What? You don't like that? Problems? Okay, moving on. Something so simple is coloring, right? Pick a picture, doesn't matter, right? And be able to name what's in the picture. Be able to determine what color goes on what part of the picture. Be able to determine what you're looking at in the picture. Am I looking at a, a tree? Am I looking at grass? Am I looking at a lion? Am I looking at a parrot? You know? And then be able to pick the right color. You know, and then something is so simple as I'm grabbing the blue pencil crayon. I'm coloring the fill in the blank, right? It doesn't really matter which. Luckily, when I bought these, I didn't know them. They came pre-sharpened. Less chance of potential injury. Okay. Also did come with a sharpener. Please use under adult supervision. So, again, just like I did with um, think inside the box, again, think between the lines, right? Something as so simple as coloring. Uh, because you can get the benefit out of word naming you can, or object naming. You can do confrontational naming. Um, you can do situational naming. You can, you know, uh, have to do color identification. Unless you're into the whole Salvador Dali technique, then just do whatever you want. So, you at home, between your therapy appointments, or even once you've done therapy, you don't have to make therapy look like therapy. You don't have to do things that are clinical, that are dry. You can do things that will just help you get better. And when I say get better, I mean help you do things that get better at the skill of communication. Because it's not something you're born with. You don't know how to communicate when you're born. It's something you pick up as a skill. So just because your brain injury from a stroke, concussion, what have you, has, has limited um, your communication ability. Doesn't mean you can't rebuild it. Just consider it takes time. You know, so months, years, weeks, days, practice, repetition, and eventually some of those skills and ability you have lost will come back. You may still have difficulties, you may still have deficits, but it's not important that you have a difficulty. It's not important that you have a deficit. What's more important is you're learning to improvise, adapt, accommodate, and persevere. Right? And that's that's the important piece. So this, this ends this week's Wordy Wednesday. If there's something you want to see me cover, please leave a comment down below. You can reach me on Instagram, uh, Stroke Assaulter on Instagram. You can find me at Twitter, which is the handle down below. You can also get me at uh, via email. Emails in the handle down below. And if you happen to know someone that's going through a post-stroke, post-brain injury uh, recovery, please point the channel out to them. They might get some benefit. Have them like, share, subscribe. If you like what you've been watching, uh, please like, share, subscribe. If you know someone that's supporting someone going through the throes of uh, the recovery from a brain injury or stroke um, and you be it a wife, uh, husband, partner, good friend, please again point the channel up to them. They'll get some def definite benefit out of it. And if you happen to see either in yourself or someone around you the signs or symptoms of a stroke, that being someone who has uh, uh, lost their sense of balance, they immediately appear confused or befuddled, Someone who has vision problems, they can't see it in one eye, they can only move their eyes in a certain direction, they only see in grayscale, they see a little dot in the world. Someone who has difficulty uh, with speech, uh, they have slurred, stuttering speech, inappropriate language for situation or context. You have the inability to understand speech, right? Um, they have uh, the inability to smile equally effectively or at all. Inability to raise both arms equally effectively or at all. Um, has general body weakness, weakness on one side, or just the inability to stand unaided, please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.